Greetings YouTube, time for another Barkin video. We start with Swords and Blades of the American Revolution um, by George C. Newman. This is very pedantic. There are pages after pages after pages of nothing but pictures of real swords that survived the American Revolution. So if you have an interest in specifics of what different blades look like, this is going to cover it. It also covers knives, uh, a few axes, and even some halberds and such. So really quite interesting. And bayonets, of course. Firearms by Howard Ricketts. This came with a slipcover. And someone put a price tag on. I don't think I can get off without hurting it, so it's kind of annoying. Pleasures and Treasures, um, which is a nice uh, pictorial collection of images of, uh, of uh, firearms. We have Charles Adams' Favorite Haunts. And I gotta tell you, I find this art wonderful and some of the humor is great, but some of it is very inappropriate taking from the looking at it through the lens of 2017. Uh, John Green and David uh, Levithan, Will Grayson, Will Grayson. My wife wanted that one. The Viking Book of Folk Ballads of the English Speaking World. Uh, this is for my, um, my mother in law. She writes uh, songs for the fiddle. And we have Sidekicks from Scholastic Books, which is about pets that want to be superheroes. Um, and we have some Marvel comics. We have Marvel Collection uh, uh, Classics. So each one of these has four issues in it. And I picked up these three comics for... Um, we'll we'll cover in there. The three comics for 10 bucks at a yard sale. Uh, then we have... Uh, Four video DVDs of from the Great Cla Great Courses line. We have Memory and the Human Lifespan, Secrets of Sleep Science from Dreams to Disorders, and Optimizing Brain Fitness. And then we have the History of Ancient Rome. And I know like this style is very expensive, and I got this for a dollar. And I paid for each of the other ones. I paid less than fifty cents. And then we have two Good Eats. We have Condiment Nation, which has a few meat products. Meat videos, but most of it is either neutral or vegetable based. My wife has become a vegetarian and veggie eats too. So perfect for my wife and both of us enjoy Alton Brown. On to more DVDs, which are more, you know, movie oriented. We have Farscape, The Peacekeeper Wars. I actually quite liked the earlier seasons of this. I eventually stopped watching it. Um, it, it was when I was beginning to move away from television. I got tired of the whole soap opera aspect of it. Then we have um, The Seeker, a film I've actually kind of wanted to see before. I think I paid a buck a piece for those. And I think I, I paid a dollar for this one, Star Trek Final First Contact, because I um, uh, looked at our lists I had with me. And we didn't have this one, so it's got a commentary track, which is what I'm interested in. A collection of videos of, of from Depeche Mode. My wife and our friend Mary just went to see them. I think Mary will appreciate this. We have the film Versus, which I've never seen. Um, it sounds interesting, and I'll see if I'll give it a view. My wife is going to have no interest in that, so I'll have to wait till she's not around. Uh, Shaolin Soccer. We have some more Mythbusters episodes. We have the entire seven film collection of Fast and Furious. Um, I know there's another one out, but this is the seven ones. Um, and I have a couple of these, I think. So I'll get rid of those and just keep this whole collection of looking all at once. Then we have the second season of Flash. I bought the first season of Flash for five bucks. And I was kind of interested in it. You know, I'll get around to watch it. Then I discovered that the Gorilla Grodd plays a role in this series. And I love me some Gorilla Grodd. So I started watching it. Watched the first two episodes. Quite liked it. Quite charming. You know, it has the whole horrible structure of all episodic television, which is why I stopped watching it. There are certain patterns and tropes and things which bug the crap out of me. But I picked this one up, brand new, at uh, Best Buy for 15 bucks, And I can't get it from Blu-ray. And the best I was going to be able to do on the secondary market is $15 used plus shipping uh, to get it on DVD. So, you know, I'll buy that every day. And here's the best uh, one I got. This is the five disc complete collection or collector's edition of Blade Runner. Um, so we got four different versions of this film. Woohoo! Um, it has a rarely seen work print in here. And it's, eight, it's nine hours of special features. And I paid $2 for this. Now I have, of course, Blade Runner on Blu ray, I think, already. I'll get rid of that one. I have a co worker I'm going to give it to. 
We have an owl bag, my wife liked that, it's a zippered pouch. We have some stamps, my wife's gonna use those for a project. I bought myself some Crocs, just for fun. Paid 10 bucks for those, they're nice, I kinda like the pattern. Got my wife a scarf, uh, symbol on there. Got her a coin, which has Frosty the Snowman on it. This is from Franklin Mint. Got her a bell, and the bell, I think this is jade, I'm not 100% sure, um, but it's got a nice little pattern on it, and it's got a nice tone. Pick that up. Got her a xylophone, which could be, it needs a little little work, to the, to some of the stands, the, the, the cross piece needs to be put in place. But uh, she likes it, We can, she can play it, oh boy, it's an artwork, and if she gets tired of it, we need to get rid of it, because I paid a dollar for it. We have a giant beetle, which I got to just do for a video, and I thought it was really cool. It was three bucks at Target right now because it's Halloween season. I think that's the deal. It's a nice one. They also have a they have a centipede. It's got to be two feet long for two for ten dollars. You want a giant centipede, man? I mean, a giant centipede, like bigger than any centipede in the real world. Go for it. And they have snake skeletons going for fifteen bucks right now. Some really nice uh, decorations this season. Then we have the. Aliens versus Colonial Marines action figures. This is a 35-piece uh, set. I paid 50 cents for this at a yard sale. And then we have two very large, colorful, very cool uh, crabs here. I don't need two of these. I'll be getting rid of one of them. Um, but I picked them up for four, four bucks because I wanted one of them. And this is very... It's, it's shiny. If you've seen Moana, you know what I mean. Um, and... Uh, this is cool. I like this. This is going to be great when scaled against a 25 millimeter figure. It really is. It's going to be awesome. And it's got it kind of funny because they've got a broken leg on each one. So, like, it's a lost a leg. It's kind of cool. Okay, on to the next section. We have a sharper image light here, which this metal piece comes out, rotates 90 degrees, and becomes a stand. So it stands up like this. And it's supposed to be a signaling device. So this whole screen lights up, and then this can either be a solid red or it blinks. It's kind of cool. I'll do a test on this one. I picked it up for three bucks. Somebody didn't like it. It works. So I thought I'd see if it has any utility whatsoever. I um, mean, it's, it's kind of cool because it's very thin. So it'd be easy to store inside a vehicle. Then we have almost complete set of Exacto. I picked this up for five bucks. Still got the um, catalog and everything. So I thought that was kind of cool. It was a good, a good deal, in my opinion, for five dollars. We have a couple of ha small hammers. This one, I believe, is for using in reloading. I'm not positive. And this is just a cute little hammer. It makes me think of a very tiny smith smithing hammer. Here we have a hatchet that needs some love. I, I have a fondness for hatchets. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything about this profile, so I may just fix the head because I'm going to use it as a hammer, polish it back up again, put kind of an edge on it. Maybe it was just a throwing device or something. But I kind of was kind of cute. It's got a nice size and shape. We have a small saw here. Um, we have this, which is a set of pliers of some kind. Two positions. You can go either one of those holes works. And then this swings down and acts as a stop here. So it will. So you can kind of set it the distance you want. I have no idea what this is for. Anybody can tell me. I would really love to know. Um, we have a pair of uh, nail pullers. Husky. I paid two bucks for those. They're in excellent condition. That's going to go downstairs into the shop. Um, we have a section of hooks here. I picked these up for a song at an estate sale. And I picked that up um, for 50 cents. It's from uh, Duracell. Let's see if it works. We have some bolts, many of which already have nuts attached to them, and I've already used one um, in my desk build, which is behind me. We have a rasp. Rasp. That's a great word, rasp. Smile for the shop. Um, we have a collection of wrenches. This is kind of cool. And we got these three. And I've never seen any of these this small before. Never. So I thought that was kind of cool. I picked, again, I picked them up for a song. I put them together. We have a small pen knife. We have a pair of pliers. But I actually have an immediate use for these because I had found myself needing a small pair like this. And this is from Winchester, which I didn't even know made pliers. So there you go. We have a bunch of... Oh, this is a, a, a little knife my father gave me from the Postal Employees Credit Union. Um, a bunch of rings, one of which I sent to someone as a joke, but um, in a box of other things. But I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but I thought they were kind of cool. And um, we have a very stubby, I mean, that's, look at how small that is. It's like almost, the, you know, that's, that's not a very big ratchet, uh, half inch, quarter inch. So it's got no name on it. Who, I have no idea who made it. 
Um, we have a uh, carpet knife. Kind of, I'm wanna, I want to practice on sharpening these inner word curves. I've never been very good at it. So I picked this up for a dollar so I can practice on it. I don't care what happens to it. And this is a Klein knife. And I've become very fond of Klein tools. It has a wonderful heft to it. it needs a little needs a little love, but it's, it's the edge is not injured. Just needs to be sharpened. Uh, we have a uh, Camillus titanium bonded knife. Picked that up for five bucks new um, from Walmart. We have a tiki here for my wife. It's resin, so she could put this in her garden if she wanted to. Yeah, it would work. And it's from the what is it? From the manufactured by Tiki Islands Enterprises, Longwood, Florida. And we have this, which is a very heavy washer for a building cross tie. So they would put huge rods through brick buildings and they would put these on either side to hold the building together. Um, and this is very big. This is for a weapons build. I'm not going to touch this. I'm going to just bolt it to something. It will not be harmed. It's too beautiful. It's antique. But I just want to use it in a build. And it's going to be using maybe this piece of rod itself, but something similar to this. Um, this is a piece of threaded rod. Very heavy gauge. Very big. And I paid a whole dollar for this at a, at a thrift shop. You, this, you could not touch this for a buck. Now, this is a big gauge. I mean, look, I mean, look at the size. It's the same thickness as my finger. This is a big big gauge and we have one more thing to show and the last thing we have is this print from um, Mara Abood I picked this up at a yard sale for five bucks um, it's in nice shape it's pretty we're gonna put it in the living room and we may actually set up a display have this up on the wall and then have a place to put the singing bowl I got my wife recently it's a very nice bowl she really likes the bowl um, I need to make a striker for it. I don't have a proper striker with the right kind of heft. So I'm currently trying to find some exotic hardwood dowels because I need one. I'll probably get a three footer, use a foot for the striker, probably turn the other two feet into a impact weapon of some variety. But you know me. Um, so there you go. This has been the bargain video. Um, I thought I'd end on a piece of pretty art. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Have a nice day.